What's going on, everybody? Back out again today with another video. And today we have What the Hell Do I Think? Episode 3, where I rub my mouth and give my opinion on a variety of different topics. So how the hell is everyone doing? Yeah. It's been a pretty good week so far. Was driving through town today, and I noticed they're putting up all the decorations and lights and shit. So the holiday season is almost upon us, folks. Whether we want it or not. But anyhow, uh, today I'm smoking my cherry wood spigot, and this I have some Solani Flake. And uh, I noticed Truck and Piper Bob was uh, smoking this, I think, in his last Cobb Tuesday video. I was like, I haven't had that in a long time. So I went and pulled some out. It's a great blend. That spicy kick, and also, uh, you know. It's a very, very bold tobacco. Pretty good aroma, too. I will say, we'll give it that. <laughs> Anyhow. So, first things first. Hoot and Briar had his gall drawing. And congratulations to Chad Le Lethal Precisions for winning that. All right, that was an awesome gall. And it was fun looking at everybody's responses to that. And, uh... I would never have guessed you for a Dark Shadows fan, my friend. I would never have guessed Dark Shadows. Not at all. It's funny because I used to walk, watch Dark Shadows all the time when I was a kid. Myself. And even that, uh, the what was it, 92 remake TV miniseries with Ben Cross, where he, where he played Barnabas Collins. That was a great one. The movie with uh, Johnny Depp, eh, I wasn't a big, I wasn't a fan of that. I just wasn't. Don't get, don't get me wrong. I didn't think it was bad. It just, I just wasn't like really. It wasn't great either. We'll put it like that. Anyhow. Congratulations, Chad. But today we're going to be talking about generational tobacco product bans. And we're going to talk about that because no one else is fucking talking about it. We need to talk about it, right? Right. But first, I want to talk about something that Greg Tunnel brought up from the Tunnel Tech. And he was talking about yesterday in a video where people that the thing about, you know, what YTPC presenter should be talking about keeps rearing its ugly head. And the problem is, if you just come on here to watch. Well, excuse me, if YTP presenters were just out here making videos about pipe smoking and tobacco it would be very it would be very fucking boring after a while okay so what we try to do is fill in with a little bit of our own little personalities other shit no i think what the problem is is that some people just don't like his opinion and don't like his views and that's fucking fine change the goddamn channel seriously if you're watching something on tv you don't like what it's about what do you do? You change the fucking channel. Same thing here. If you don't like what Greg has to say, or what I have to say, or what Ethan has to say, or what Willie has to say, or what Papa Bear has to say, or what fucking all these other guys have to say, wait till the next video, or unfucking subscribe. It's that fucking simple. Religion and politics are two of the things that really a lot of people say it should be discussed in public. I personally think you should discuss politics and religion. I love those debates. I love those arguments. And I love to argue. My ex-wife will tell you. Well, she would. That I, uh, I love to argue. And I love to damn uh, get people worked up enough to argue. It's just That's just me. And the thing is, I got friends that I do that with that we just sit there and we fucking argue. And everybody's like, why are you friends if you're arguing? 
all the time. It's because we like to fucking argue with one another. But you know what? At the end of the day, we're still fucking friends. But as for, uh, I think Greg said it best. If you don't like what he has to say, fucking unsubscribe. And I think everybody else is pretty much on that same page. I don't know why that topic, why that, not topic, but why people keep saying that and that keeps pop, keeps being brought up. Is that, you know, why YTP, TPC presenters should not be talking about anything other than tobacco and pipes. At least we're not like other communities where they're just shilling products because they're getting paid to do so. But anyhow, yeah, don't like it, unfucking subscribe. That's it, simple. Change the channel, wait for the next video, or unsubscribe. Boom. Now, let's go ahead and talk about generational tobacco bans. All right. So what are generational tobacco bans? It's a plan by which, which some people are proposing in government, which is to ban people that were born after a certain date from ever being able to purchase tobacco products. And personally, I think that's stupid. And I'm not saying that because I'm a pipe smoker and a vapor. Okay, that's not why I hate this idea. I hate it because I don't like the idea of telling people whether they're born yet or not, what they can or cannot do with their lives. Is that fucking simple, folks? And by the way, for all you YouTubers and vape advocates who are like, hoorah, cigarettes are going away. It's called a generational tobacco ban, which means vaping is also wrapped into it. So you're going to lose out too. But the problem that I have with it is when you do something like this, what you do is you're taking companies who have a good track record, who are regulated, okay, who do a lot of good work in testing, research, blah, 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 and now you're going to give it to, put it in the hands of people who don't give a fuck about the other people, who don't give a fuck about safety, who are unregulated, who could put Lord knows what into God knows what and release it onto the street. Because make no mistake about it, folks. Generational tobacco bans, whether you were born on that date or before that date, are a bad fucking idea. And it hurts us all. It really does. But all you're gonna look, all you're looking at is people are gonna find a way around it. And then all you're gonna do is open up a black market. Because when the last smoker dies and they shut down that last business, that's when you're going to have the fucking black market come in and poison everything. And you think smoking and vaping is a public health crisis now? Wait until you get the introduction of products that are not regulated that you don't even know what the fuck is in it. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, prohibition, right? Alcohol, remember that? That didn't work out very well either. People were drinking the equivalent of fucking diesel fuel. Yeah. Look. Smoking rates are going down. I think they think I read somewhere that in the 40s or 50s it was like 50 52% of Americans smoked. And now it's whittled down. To where smoking is an all-time low. Only what? 10.5% of adults in America smoke right now. Give or take. I'm not sure of the exact numbers, but I know it's fucking low. As hell. I 
No, I think what these generational tobacco bans are, what they're planning to do with it is basically is to keep people from vaping as well and pipe smoking and cigar smoking. Because while the combustible cigarette market has gone down to all time lows, e-cigarettes, pipe tobacco, and cigars have ticked up because people like this more than they like fucking cigarettes. You don't inhale this. Smells pretty fucking good, depending on the tobacco that you're using. And, you know, it works out for the best. Well, I say it works out for the best. It works out for most people. I think that's what the problem is. But that's the thing, is that eventually, whether they're born in 2030, whether they're born in 2025, they're going to grow up. And if they choose to use a tobacco product, that's on them. Personally, I think the age of 21 is the perfect age with which to restrict the sale of tobacco. Yeah, fuck you if you don't like it. I, that's just the way it is. Okay. <laughs> And I think keep doing the education and, uh, you know, the act, the, what do you call it? Uh, activism. Yeah. Keep doing that. Awareness does more than any kind of band does. It just does, in my opinion. It just does. <laughs> yeah. And for those that are saying, well, 21 is not enough. We need, to, we need to start enforcing the laws. What we need to do is bring back WEID. I don't know if you guys remember. Some of you may remember that. Back in the 90s, there was a program called WEID. It was shortly after the age to buy alcohol was raised from 18 to 21. And what they were doing was that uh, the alcohol law enforcement in every state, what they did was that they would set up these things and they would go to these stores and have kids attempt to purchase alcohol products. Mm hmm. And that they would find the unholy hell out of you if you sold alcohol to anyone underage. No exceptions. There literally was no exceptions. If you didn't check ID, you were fined. If you, if you sold, you were fined. And I think that's what we need to do with tobacco. And that includes vaping. Remember, tobacco vaping is a tobacco product, whether you like it or not. It's not a pharmaceutical. It's not a fucking makeup. It's fucking tobacco product. All right. So, well, that's what I think. I think gener I think a generational tobacco ban, tobacco product ban would be fucking stupid. I don't think it would help, and it would be more of a public health crisis if you just let everybody light up anyway. That's my opinion. But anyhow, I want to thank everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, thumbs up. If you like it, thumbs down, you hate it. doesn't matter. It's all of you, and I love you guys anyway. But until next time, folks, always remember, live long and prosper, and I'll catch you next time.